so we're at the beach and uh, we're ridiculously early. We're supposed to be here at 10.30. Um, it's 9.45, yeah, early time. So we're snacking on some dried pineapple. It was actually really good. So more sugar for our morning. Woo! So we just had the wedding on the beach. Now we're going for lunch. It was a very beautiful wedding. Ashley, you look amazing. You look beautiful. Happy wedding. We're, well, we just got back to the Airbnb. We're just hanging out and relaxing before the reception starts. And we're kind of thirsty because it's kind of hot outside, so we're having some watermelon. Very delicious, very hydrating. And I find that the watermelon that I get from the Trader Joe's here is always super, super sweet. I don't think we've ever had watermelon like this um, from back home. So now, we're just enjoying some watermelon. Mmm, so sweet. And then we're probably just gonna watch some ankle spanking videos, who's a league player. Um, I can link them if, down below if you guys care. I don't know how many of you guys watch League of Legends people play. He's really funny. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do and we'll see you at the reception. We just went to the wedding and or like the reception and it was really fun I talked to some people and it was all right I don't know it was fine I talked to people and it was fine I just like got really tired of people really quickly um, especially when I don't know a lot of people and then I have to like turn on like the, the hey nice to meet you where are you from how do you know the couple like it's it's just like physically draining I wouldn't 100% know what you mean yeah. Except I did the same thing, except I didn't talk to anyone. I just stood there quietly. Yeah, it was mostly me talking. But everyone was like, oh, you're Ashley's best friend. You're Ashley's best friend. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, there wasn't a lot of food. It wasn't like that sort of reception. But we're here now at Shoujin. So we're going to probably get some sushi. Although I don't think you're hungry because you had some food. Yeah, I mean, I might be able to a couple things. You don't, you don't have to. But I'm, I'm gonna try. Okay. You gotta believe in yourself. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I explained this yesterday, but yesterday we tried to fit 12 people at Shoujin, um, and I didn't realize how small it is, and like, um, I, like I should have made a reservation, but like you couldn't make a reservation for like 12 people without making everyone pay exactly $30 and have like a set menu. Um, I didn't feel comfortable with that because I've never been there. So today it's just going to be me and Eddie. We can walk in, no problem. So we're going to get some sushi. Aww. We're in Little Tokyo, which is like um, the arts district of LA. And I just want to check out like, look how beautiful this is. It's so pretty. Like all the graffiti around here is so pretty. Hold on, I'm going to turn it around. Just dropped off the car it's uh it's 5 30 in the morning uh and our flight's at eight but we missed the shuttle bus to take us back to the airport you know it's coming soon so i thought this would be a good time to taste test the ripple milk uh that we didn't taste test ages ago it's vanilla flavored let's give it a try oh it tastes like one of those like milkshakes one of those milkshakes i don't know it's like really thick Damn, that feels like real milk. That's I don't like that. Doesn't that taste like uh, milk? It, it has like the consistency of like regular milk. Like dairy milk. Holy sh! It's still like you know it has the 
flavor as you know. It tastes like soy milk though. Yeah. But there's I don't think there's soy in it. Is there soy? Water, pea protein, organic cane sugar, organic sunflower oil. So no soy. Mm -mm. That's crazy no to soy. me. I don't like it. I mean, like it's it's good if you liked dairy milk, but I didn't like dairy milk, and that is too. I have that same kind of filmy feeling that you have when you drink dairy milk. I like it. Yeah, that's all you do. I like dairy milk. <laughs> if we had that here in Canada, would you use that on cereal? Yeah, I think so. But yeah. Oh, I guess I didn't really talk about shojin last night. Um, so the meal was like beautiful. Uh, the sushi was really, really good. Um, we had the baked scallop roll that was like torch at the table, and that was phenomenal. But the we had some ramen afterwards that was just kind of like overwhelmingly salty and maybe like I'm already sensitive to like salty stuff and like you found like even for you that was like really salty. It's pretty salty. Yeah and like to be fair the egg was like pretty pretty like spot on aside from the fact that it was salty like it had the same had like a thicker texture to it the yolk was kind of like soft boiled. Our shuttle's here so See you later. Bye. We finally made it through. They wouldn't let my cookie butter or Eddie's GIF in, so I had to check my bag. But thanks to old Martin at the Air Canada desk, he checked it in for free. So that was pretty cool. Complimentary. So now we're eating some breakfast. I have some potatoes that were that are vegan. They're just in olive oil. Oh, they're really greasy looking though. And Eddie has scrambled eggs, which is like part of the bowl, but then we had it separate. So that I have potatoes, he has his eggs. It's all gravy, baby. And then some all natural ketchup as well as the tried and true Heinz ketchup and then I got a boosted green smoothie from Naked but yeah so we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna board our plane it's gonna be great Look, we're back in Eddie's car. We're back on Canadian soil. Back in Canadian traffic. Yeah, pretty much. Although, yeah, I guess we experienced some LA traffic, but it was the weekend, so we didn't really, that wasn't really a thing. I'm losing it, I'm so tired and hungry. We're getting food right now. We're gonna go to Zen Garden. We are starving, and we had to wait forever for our park and fly shuttle to come get us. Uh, that was stupid, but aside from that, the flight was pretty, Pretty pleasant. Woo. Woo. All right, time for food. There was kind of a mix up at the cash register and our, the, the debit machine wasn't really working. So it took us like an extra 15 minutes to get our food on top of the half hour it took us to drive to there. So we were like so hungry that we just inhaled all the food and I totally forgot to take pictures of it and do a video. But if you guys follow me on Snapchat, it's the same meal that we get every single time. It's hot and sour soup for me, 15 pieces of pan fried dumplings, uh, sweet and sour bites, and uh, vegan barbecue buns. And that's it. That's all we get every time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this trip. It was very exhausting, but very fun. Um, and you guys seem to be liking these Lisa Goes Outside videos. So if you guys continue to like this, let me know and I will make an effort to go outside more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a delicious day. Bye. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And then yes, let's stir it all together. Oh my God. This is so much mac and cheese, but I'm so excited. Oh my God, it looks so good. What, what is this? Mac and cheese used to be my main squeeze before I went vegan. I had, I've eaten a lot of cheese in my lifetime, okay? And so when I first went vegan, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. I really love cheese, but I mean, just, you don't, you don't need.